10. I'm going to give you a hypothetical situation inside of a StarCraft game. So let's say an opponent's being six pooled, okay? Uh, that's not the situation, but that's an example. And I want you <coughs> and uh, Nick or Frank, who wants to participate in this? Nick. All right. Uh, so you're going to be right. casting with Nick in this hypothetical situation. So I need you to play off each other. Um, so basically, you're going to get all your information about what's going on from the other person and what they say. So all right. I'm, I'm going to give you a situation, and you have to cast it um, for a good 30 seconds Ooh. to a minute. Or if you can end the game through your casting, that's also good. Let's do this, Scott, too. Can I just say Idris one of the players, and he left the yep. game? <laughs> <laughs> all right, you get a bonus point for that, because it was funny. <laughs> but this is serious. <laughs> the players, uh, the players. Let's say uh, the players are. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's take two Canadians. Uh, we'll take Hendrilisk is one of them, so it's going to be mm -hmm. Zerg. Okay. Uh, oh, he's so good. He is. Too good. Yeah. Versus uh, Saravati because I I love Saravati and he's a clarity guy. Um, and don't feel tempted to make him win just because he's part of your team. So the game is Hendrilisk versus Saravati on Ohana. Okay. Okay. And it is an Immortal Century all-in from Saravati, but Saravati has forgotten to put a pylon or bring a warp prism, so he's he's free floating out there. Um, but Henderlisk only has drones. <laughs> what? Well, Nick, I've got to say, you know, Hendrilisk versus Saravati, fantastic matchup here. But I can't believe we've gotten to this position where. Saravati moving out. He's always a tricky player going for the all-in. Not surprised at all. Mm -hmm. But he forgets a pylon, and his opponent only has drones. How is he going to get out of this one? I have no idea. Why did Hensus not make any units? He definitely scouted the immortal push. He looked at the plus timing. He sees the weapon timing. And here comes Saravati. He's going on. But, oh, my goodness, a destructible rock. <laughs> destructible rock saving the day once again. Saravati going to have to go all the way around. But does give him enough time to send a probe out from his base and lay down a pylon. Conversely, Hendrilis now has the time to build the roaches, the zerglings that he needs to hold, but he needs to set up a flank. Will the force field be where they need to be? Oh my goodness, here it comes. Here comes the third base right now. Hendrilis is trying to get a surround, but oh my gosh, beautiful force field. Guardian shield going down as well, but these roaches, <laughs> they don't have burrow. No burrow, but there's, <laughs> but there's too many <laughs> force fields. So Ten good. centuries, that's 40 force fields. The roaches just can't get in to do any damage. The Sentry Immortal strikes again, Nick Saravati. He's looking in pretty oh good position. Goodness. But the rallies from Hendrilis, they just keep coming. Oh my goodness, it's crushing in, but the nice force field on the ramp blocking all of Hendrilis' reinforcements. And now Saravati is pushing up into the natural. So many things going down. There goes the hatchery. The hatchery is down, but so is the Night Swarm in the main base. Hendrilis making the Hail Mary play. He's got an Overlord going across the map. He's going to try to Nidus into his own opponent's main base. Ah, oh, it gets scouted by... Oh, man. Probes pulled. Night Swarm gets stopped. And Hendrilis. GG. GG. Cool. Yeah. Wasn't enough. That's epic. So strong.